Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome into the lab. I'm Dr. Gang Green. This is day 31 of our Howling Halloween Countdown. Boy, I've had a lot of fun here as we've counted down 31 werewolf movies and TV shows that I particularly enjoy. 31 of the ones that I would definitely recommend to you. We've got one left. What's it going to be for Halloween night? You know, I don't even remember. I know we've covered 30 of these so far. Let's see what tonight's, the last one in our countdown is reach in here and see tonight we're going to talk about oh man we saved one of my favorites for last monster dog monster dog from 1984 stars alice cooper as vincent raven a rock star who is returning to his hometown to shoot a music video with his band as the band pulls into town, they run into a roadblock, and the sheriff tells the group there's been a string of murders in the area attributed to a pack of wild dogs. But the group doesn't let that stop them. They head to Vincent's childhood home where they intend to shoot the video, but find the place empty. Meanwhile, the sheriff and his deputy are attacked and torn apart by the titular monster dog. The band settles in and we learn that Vincent's family has a dark secret. There was a similar series of attacks when Vincent was a child and his father was blamed. The townsfolk believed his father had lycanthropy and they formed a mob and killed him. The next day, while shooting the music video, they are dramatically interrupted when the caretaker Joss turns up dead, also a victim of the killer canines. The deaths begin to mount, Vincent is acting increasingly odd, and the band begins to suspect that Vincent knows more than he's letting on. The townsfolk, convinced that Vincent is the cause of all their problems, form a posse and invade the mansion, determined to kill Vincent. Is Vincent Raven in fact a werewolf? Honestly, this film is all over the place and doesn't really make a lot of sense. But that doesn't detract from the overall enjoyment of the film. Written and directed by Claudio Fergazzo, infamous director of Troll 2, it has a bizarre, almost dreamlike quality to the entire film. It's confusing, even inept in places, but a lot of fun with tons of atmosphere and some great gore effects. The final half hour pulls out all the stops and takes viewers on a fun ride. Filmed on location in Madrid, Spain in 1984, it features dubbed voices from the actors, including Alice. Many of the actors spoke Spanish and they dubbed it after the fact, but they either couldn't get Alice back to do the ADR or just decided to save some money and hire a cheaper voice actor. Either way, it's truly bizarre hearing this voice coming out of Alice's mouth that doesn't fit at all. The movie features two original Cooper songs, Identity Crisis and See Me in the Mirror, unreleased until recently when they were included on a box set called The Life and Crimes of Alice Cooper. I love Identity Crisis. It's a solid song with clever lyrics and I'd love to see Alice play it live in concert. We get to see the music video for it twice at the beginning and end of the movie. Recommended for fans of Alice and bad movies. Three Skulls. All right, so Monster Dog from 1984, directed by Claudio Fergazzo, the director of Troll 2. You know, uh, I really like this movie. I remember years ago when I first found out that Alice Cooper was in a movie, and I'm a huge Alice Cooper fan. Let me pre preface this by saying I, I totally dig Alice Cooper. He's one of my favorite musicians of all time. And uh, when I found out he was in a horror movie, I knew I had to track this down and I did not regret it. It's schlocky as all get out, but it's a lot of fun. It's all over the place, kind of doesn't make sense in some respects, but who cares, man? It's the ride, it's so much fun. And um, the music videos are great in this. I particularly like Identity Crisis. <laughs> this is a, a, a fun, uh, Alice Cooper song that's got those creative Alice Cooper lyrics. Sometimes I'm James Bond. Sometimes I'm Billy the Kid. Sometimes I feel like Sherlock Holmes. Sometimes I feel like Jack the Rip. Uh, yeah, love it. Uh, good stuff. Classic Alice. And you know, uh, this one plays on Comet TV a lot. And every time, without fail, that I'm flipping through the channels and I see Monster Dog on Comet TV, I stop and watch it. I've probably watched this thing 10 times over the last few months. Comet's played the heck out of it and I keep stopping and watching, picking it up from wherever they're at on it and going, oh, I need to watch Monster Dog. I'll do Monster Dog. I think I'll watch this again. Or just setting it down sub subconsciously and just 
watching it again. So yeah, check out Monster. Let me know what you guys think about Monster Dog. And if you don't like it, I don't know if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, if you don't like it, I get it. But hey, maybe you'll learn to love it like I do. So anyway, I hope you guys have had fun with this. I hope you've enjoyed this howling Halloween countdown as we talk about werewolves. I know I didn't get to all the werewolf movies. There's so many out there. There were a lot that I wanted to cover that I did not get to. And so there's a lot of meat on the bones for future countdowns. We can talk about werewolves another time and it gives me lots more to cover in the future. So anyway, I hope you all have a happy Halloween. Stay safe, have fun, give some candy to some kids, eat a lot of candy yourself, watch some scary movies, and watch out for those stray dogs wandering in your neighborhood because you never know, they might be werewolves. Until next time, this is Dr. Gangreen from the Mad Lab saying, stay mad.